Hello and welcome back to Dark Deity. This is Chapter 11. Death is lighter than a feather. We start with Benji. What in oblivion is that? <gasps> Sounds like thunder. Impossible. Impossible. There's not a cloud in the sky. But a storm comes nonetheless. What you're hearing are the drums of war. I've never seen a force so large marching out of Oasis. Aramorn troops? Where are they headed? Take heart. North to the border at Swift Harbor, no doubt, and we must follow. Are you mad? We couldn't possibly take on a force that size. I don't expect they'll go unopposed by our dealing compatriots, but it's not the army we're after. We need to get to Swift Harbor as soon as possible. So, swiftly? Mm, why Swift Harbor? Wouldn't it be best to travel by road? I took the liberty this morning of sharing all that you've told me with Vesta. She has a contact who may be able to help. In Swift Harbor? No, in Veroa. <sighs> All the way across the Barrel Sea, the war will have ended long before we return. Who is this contact, anyway? All you need to know is that they can help. <sighs> I should explain. Stop. Vesta? This place still stands because of them. It's only right that they know what it is. And besides, from everything you shared, it's clear to me that they seek the aspects in goodwill. Mm. As you wish. It's true I'm a priestess of Fane, but in this temple I serve another purpose. I am a member of the Order of the Eternals. Order of the Eternals? I've never heard of that before. That's how we prefer it. We're charged with the keeping and protection of the Eternal Aspects, some of which you have discovered and learned to use. A moment, please. I assure you, we've only ever sought to study and protect them, and it's clearer now than ever that we aren't the only ones to have taken such an interest. The Order has been made aware of more sinister activities surrounding the Aspects, not unlike the attack last night. But why attack this temple? In this place, I'm the guardian of a small trove of Aspects. The necromancer sought them, no doubt. Now I trust they would be safer in your hands. Don't worry. Received a trove of eternal aspects. Okay. If you mean to entrust us with these aspects, you have my word that we will guard them with our lives and put them to good use. I'm certain you would, but first I must ask that you help me fare them to Varroa. The order is much more powerful there, and my superiors want to know what you've learned. I'm sure he can protect both you and the aspects while we get to the truth of the matter. Sarah, Samara, what do you think? We must. We don't have any other leads. If the Order knows more, they're best suited to help. Disgraceful. I think this is a mistake. If there was ever any question about our desertion, booking passage across the sea would remove all doubt. They stopped questioning that the moment we walked away from Red, Red Hill. Why fight us? I understand the weight of this choice, but you must decide quickly. It would be best to get to Swift Harbor before things get ugly. If what you say is true about the Order, then it's hardly a decision. We'll follow your lead. All right. So we got some new inventory items. I guess we should check that first. Yeah, so we have a bunch of different eternal aspects in our, in our convoy now. We already have the aspects of Chaos, Candon's Flux. And we have Kyther's Promise, counterattack damage increased by 25%. Uh, Yilmar's Faith has, has the aspect of convi Conviction, grants 40% resistance to Arcane Magic. Kind's Passage, Aspects of Time, each turn grants a 1% buff to advanced stats. Heklian's Pride, enemies are much more likely to attack the Holder. Okay. Zeltar's Flight, Swaps, Strength, and Speed. Interesting. Altham's Descent, Dodge increased by 30% of Strength. Varden's Ardor, Power increased by 15% of each weapon slot stat. Alright. And Linhera's Whisper. Swaps power and true speed. Okay. Uh, that's... Those are all pretty interesting. I don't know how to use them just yet, but... We'll think of something, I'm sure. Let's check out a bond at random here. Uh... I guess we can learn more about... Corvin, our new friend that died last chapter. And why not have him talk to Alden? Corvin, can I ask you something about what you said to Samara? All right. Of course. Uh? How can a story be true if it isn't factual? I'm not sure that makes sense. Have you ever heard the tale of the dragon and the slime? Yep. Of course, when I was young. <laughs> huh. Well, now that you're no longer young, perhaps you could answer me this. Do you truly believe there was a Najin witch who arranged such a contest between these two creatures? Maybe. I've seen some pretty weird stuff. Fair. Now let me propose another question. Does it matter? Would the story lose its effectiveness if you learned its events never truly took place? 
I guess not. And yet we can all find the lasting truth in the story, no? Hmm. So what you're saying is, even if it didn't really happen, it doesn't matter because the message is true? Sure. Something like that. That makes sense. You've done well. You know, you, you have a sharp wit, Alden. Be sure you to keep it pointed at foe and not friend. Okay. I'll read the others on my own, and then we'll uh, move on to the next thing. Okay, I finished uh, looking at bonds, and I decided to upgrade Sophia's longbow to um, a dwarven longbow and then a massive Yumi. So, yeah, now she has a really heavily accurate focus weapon that does almost as much damage as the war bow and is a lot more accurate. I think I'm going to start investing more in weapons that are more accurate and also weapons that are lighter instead of just trying to depend on crits and stuff for units because it seems a little bit better than my other options. I'm going to look for other upgrades I can do and then I'll get started. Yeah, so I decided to upgrade Vesta's uh, balance weapon in from a pickaxe to a piercer, which will help her out a lot, I think, if, especially if we decide to use her in combat more. All right, on that note, let's advance through to the next chapter. The party arrives at the Temple of Fane only to find it under assault. The temple's priestess, Vesta, accepts her help in cleansing the temple. After fighting off the attackers, Vesta nearly collapses from exhaustion. The following morning, they observe a massive Aramoran forest headed towards Delia. Vesta tells them that she is a member of the Order of the Eternals, an ancient organization de dedicated to protecting the Aspects. She's traveling to Varroa to meet with the Masters of her Order. In possession of many Aspects, she fears for her safety. She suggests that the party come with her. Their more intimate knowledge of the Necromancer's methods and doings would help the Order determine a course of action. It leans heavily on their hearts, leaving the war and their nations behind is the right thing to do. They leave to follow the army north and find the captain in Swift's Harbor. In doing so, they stumble across a massive battle. Gods below. Wow. What is that? I wish I could tell you. The light. Is it some kind of weapon? <sighs> if we had a weapon that powerful locked up in a Delian armory somewhere, I'd know about it. No, it must be Aramoran. Could it be? Something the mages conjured up? Impossible. Uncle could never have kept it secret. So then which is it? Delian or Aramoran? Hmm. It doesn't matter. Vesta, have you ever encountered anything this powerful before? Not outside of a book. Wait, look. In the center. That's not a weapon, it's a person. No way! If that's a person, then I'm a potato. Uh. That rules out less than you'd think. <laughs> Whatever it is, it has to be stopped. Have you lost your mind? We'd best steer clear of that thing. We can still make it a swift harbor if we... Look where we are, caught again between Aramor and Delia, and up against something alien to both and more powerful than either. Irving raises a fair point. I'd say there's a slim chance this magic has nothing to do with our necromancer. No better playground than a battlefield for something like that, someone like that. Swarms. Who would we be if we ran? What if we've learned that Aramorans and Delians alike were wiped out by an army of undead? We have to stop this. I doubt we'd be able to waltz right in. The war horns have sounded. The battle's already begun. You're not getting in there without a fight. And a fight it is. When you're ready, follow sure. me. I realize what I'm asking of each of you. I won't force you to come with me, but I can't stand idly by as a witness to a slaughter. Samara and I, we want to come with you. Only, we fear for our people. <sighs> and what of our people? We will not strike a single soldier who does not stand in our way. You have my word. All right. And Sarah and I are with you. Can do. As are Lincoln and I. Works for me. No doubt, I'm ready to go. <sighs> oh, all right. Us too. <laughs> Benji's always up for a fight. I guess. Sure, why not? Well, what do you know? What do you give me that look for? Of course we're with you. Besides, you wouldn't stand a chance without us. Well, it seems you have your companion support. Lead on, Irving. I fear we may already be too late. I guess we'll see. Alright, so we get 14 people to deploy. It's getting harder and harder to decide who to drop and who not to drop. But I'll think of something. Alright, so... Uh, uh oh, my controller's not working. Um, that's interesting. Hang on. Okay, so one thing I did was put aspects on people. So what I did was I gave Irving Varden's ardor, uh, Kaya Altum's ascent, and a bunch of other things on other other units that will hopefully help since we just got a bunch of them. We may as well put them to good use, right? So let's go ahead and start. There's a sorcerer standing amidst the battlefield preparing a massive spell. Reach him to stop it. Okay. 
Alright, our controller's working again, so that's nice at least. Now, our units are all on a big blob in the d down here, and... Um, well, sand doesn't seem to affect unit movement, so that's good at least. What are we dealing with here? We have... Guys on the cliffs that... Will hopefully not get in the way, but they're all Delian aligned, and then these guys are Aramorin. So I guess the goal, really, is to not kill all of these people. <laughs> that would be bad, and also not it's not intended, so I assume at least. So we'll um, start by getting people out of the way that are in the way, such as that, arch that archer over there, or he's a sniper, actually. He's promoted Can't beyond you. our ability. I believe promotions kick in again at level 30, so Awaiting orders. it's going to be a while. So Lincoln has Zeltar's Flight, which swaps strength and speed. I figured that was a good choice because he's not using his strength right now, really. I mean, he does have uh, Vindication, which in increases magic by 20% of strength, but I figured that was such a small boost compared to being able to potentially double enemies. That wasn't a big deal, as you can see. He now doubles quite hard with his weapons. So, he doesn't kill, though. I would want someone that can help kill this guy. Or get close enough, I guess. We'll just do this. And then another unit will finish him off. That's fine. In fact, I'll take point. why don't we put Irving to good use here? I will not yield! Alright. That is plenty of damage. And that will get us some space cleared out here. Although this guy can attack us still, and probably will. Um, right away. I might just have Lincoln mess with him a bit. Well, it's kind of not great damage-wise. Huh? It's nice to be proactive, but it might be better to just move forward instead. Like this. Okay, I moved everyone in range, and well, I moved everyone out of range, except for Irving, who's still in range of the Bow Knight guy, and then Vesta, who's getting attacked right now. But she has her upgraded weapon to fight back, so. And they're coming down the cliff face to chase us around, so. We'll just have to carefully eliminate them as they get closer to us, I guess. If evading them is really not an option. Let's just get rid of this guy first. Uh, best way to do that, start with a double axe, I guess. Okay. Finish with, um, can Marin do it for some reason? Uh, no. no I, don't, I don't know why I keep checking. I think at this point I just have to assume Marin is just a healer. In position. Uh, I could go for that, or right away. have Lincoln just finish him off from a distance. Possibly with transfusion. And this is justice. This guy is dead. All right. Next, this guy needs to go. Um. Well, I'll just shoot you from here. I think. We'll use the dwarven warbow to knock you down to six, and then someone else can step in here and kill. He's Corbin, I guess. Yeah, this works. Oh. Huh? Lucky. Hmm. Massive Yumi's not as useful there, but this could be good. Okay. Excellent. All, away from home. <laughs> All right, great. I'm liking Caius a lot so far. Now... Well, these guys aren't a big deal. This guy's chasing us. We'll just... Let's be proactive here and fight this guy. Face your judgment. Alright. Oh, that looks good. And now... Okay, great. Next, we'll, um... Let's do it! You can follow up with Alden. This is an easy kill. Alright. And we can, um... 
just push everyone forward here. Well, that guy is not friendly to Sophia, but might be good to get a shot in here anyway. Okay. That's fine. Next, Bianca could just move up. And uh, Sa needed? Sarah can stay out of, say, just in range of the mage there. Samara is not gonna do well here. We'll just I'm use here. her to heal Irving, I guess. We can also Together. move forward after that. And Mary can move up too. Okay. Picking on Vesta, not a great sign. That's kind of painful. Okay. I think we should get rid of this guy trailing behind us here. Maybe see I can handle it. Uh, if she crits a couple times. This one's on the house! Okay, well. That is close to killing, at least. But we need to move up with Garrick. Need to punch through this guy's armor. And finish him off with someone that can do well. Yeah, Corbin can do it. Great. Next. I'm um, thinking about this guy again. Right away. Maybe Lincoln can just handle it. Yeah, this, this works. All right. My course is steady. Cool. Now, uh. If you insist. I'll move Brooke up, but just heal her with Marin. We need you in this fight. There we go. Next, uh. Killing this guy is a matter of finding Let's someone that can actually hit for some high damage reasonably well. I don't know why it says 30 to 8 when I do 30 damage. It should just be 0, but I'm guessing that his, um. His aspect is messing with the. Yeah, dodge increased by 30% of strength. No, that wouldn't do it. Something is messing with this. The second attack and a double deals plus 25% damage. I don't think that's doing it. Yeah, I don't know what's messing with Caius's uh, battle forecast, but it's, it's weird. Anyway, he's dead. Next. Well, this guy's gonna attack Caius, but. And this guy too, but he'll live. Probably. I'm here. Let's heal Sophia. Get up, Buttercup. And um, these guys are probably gonna move towards Irving, so we should be prepared for that. We'll keep other How people can I assist? out of range, but ready to fight if needed. Like so. All right. We got everyone out of range, but they're still moving towards us. That's fine. We'll just have to get rid of them. Okay. So far, we're not facing a ton of, res ton of resistance compared to what we could be facing, so that's a good sign, at least. Let's get rid of these two guys, because they look kind of dangerous, honestly. I, these guys would need to catch up, so we don't have to consider them right now. Uh, Sarah could probably help with this guy a bit. Um, Fire Rune will do. At least 30 damage, maybe more if Sorcerer's Snap kicks in, I think that's what skill is called, but there we go. Alright, Brook. Um, nope, you can't really... Looking for green up, up arrows, and Garrick and Sophia do have those, so let's have... Well, maybe Garrick should fight the guy that's not injured yet, since he does a ton of damage. Um, 59% chance to hit, but I'll take those odds. All right, and Sophia can finish off this ranger. All right, Whoa. nice. Can Samara just kill this guy outright? Um, if she hits a seventy, yeah. But maybe we want to heal Vesta instead. In fact, yeah, that's safer. Now, on the move. Kaya should probably just finish this guy off. It's a bit more damage than we need, but that's okay. Interesting maneuver. 
Need one tier one token, all right. Uh, Alden could definitely help out here. All right, great. Let Vesta hit this, although she doesn't actually kill. It's a bit of a help, at least. And then pretty much anyone can finish this guy off. I'll use Corbin to do it. Wrong place, wrong time. All right, that works. Now, press the attack. Diligence okay. is its own reward. This time. Okay. Not bad, not bad. All right, so far so good. I'll move Brooke up, although I don't expect her to actually do combat on enemy phase with anyone in particular. We'll just stick her there. And then Marin will uh, just heal Alden up. And that residual healing will kick in too. Irving, I guess we can chip here, but that's a lot of damage to take Together. for nothing, really. I'll just I'll take point. maybe just wait here for now. Can't push Alden, so there's no point in pushing. We'll just wait there. And watch Bianca get attacked, but not very effectively, at least. Okay. So far, so good. Kaya's getting attacked is fine. Oh boy, a lot of these guys are really getting in the way now. I thought they wouldn't, but they are. Well, fair enough. We were bringing up Lincoln and Sia earlier, now it's time to put them to use. And Sia can't reach the one person that she has effectiveness against. We'll just attack someone else then. This one's on the house! Alright, well, 18 more damage this guy. And that may be enough to finish him off with somebody else, but I think Lincoln needs to attack. Well, how much damage do we do here? Oh, that's not bad. How much damage do you do to this guy, though? That's better. Shadows flee before the light. Excellent. Well, Lincoln's gonna be fully healed now. Uh, 61 out of 60 health, and then he goes down to 60. Okay. That's interesting. Now, Sophia. Huh? They're probably just. No, oh, just one short of sh getting one shotting that guy. But with the Warbo, we can do it. So let's do that. She levels up. I feel stronger. Do I look stronger? Yeah, you're not doing too bad. Now, Garrick could maybe get a nice shot in, but he gets hit hard. Uh, well, with the crossbow, he doubles, but it's a 57% chance to hit. So that's not really worth it. Uh, I'll take point. Maybe Irving can do something here first. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, another one. There we go. So far, so good. Next. Thought you'd never ask. We'll have Garrick shoot this guy dead. Maybe. It's a big maybe, but we can try it. Oh well. Too bad for Garrick. I really liked his high strength, but he can barely hit anything with Let's a war bow. Maybe if I upgraded his balance weapon instead, it would have been better. Anyway, Holland's gonna kill this guy. Ouch. Okay, next. Um... Okay, Sarah has a good shot against both of these guys. She can't kill any of them, but she can do enough damage to help. And then we can have Caius kill the other one. Let's let Bianca hit this um, person over here. We'll use the hammer. Yield now or die! Very good. This will kill. Excellent. We got corn on the cob and we put it in storage. Now we just gotta get rid of this guy, and our team is pretty much safe for this turn. Just a matter of finding the right candidates. This is fine with Chris. Great. These guys will attack people, but they can survive. So we'll just 
Um, all right. actually, all the insanity heals. Oh, a daisy. You can use Vesta to heal Corvin. Or Caius. Yeah. My shield is yours. We'll just heal Corvin. I think he needs a bit more. We need you in this fight. It's just two HP anyway. Versus Caius is one HP down. We'll keep a healer near here. And we'll move Brooke up. Can she fight that guy well enough? Uh, no, but she can do some damage probably. And we'll just make sure she has her hatchet equipped, I guess, for accuracy purposes and wait here. Okay, this guy's moving in. Let me attack back. Excellent. These guys are shooting at Sia, and holy moly, Sia would have taken 41 damage if she got shot by that. Fine by me. But uh, she didn't, so whatever. <laughs> Ouch, that's a solid chunk of damage there. We're almost through this mess, so... Just a little bit more. Um, let's have Irving try to kill this guy. Time to turn the tide! All right, I can throw it a one. What was I thinking? That's bad, but okay. Better luck next time, I guess. Uh, all right, do. let's have Bianca attack another one. We have three archers left to kill, so better hop to it. All right, that one's almost dead. Literally anyone can kill him, so I'm gonna go for Sia. Alright, another crit. Not that it matters, but it's nice, I guess. Glad you're on my side. And we need Sophia to just shoot this guy, even though she'll take damage back. It just needs to be done, so. Stay back, creep! Well, at least she didn't get crits. That was really bad. Alright. And Garrick. And almost kill with the crossbow. I'd rather have him use the longbow though, since it's more accurate. But first, we'll melee. Interesting. Hit him a bit and see if that helps at all. Actually, Corbin can you just kill. Worth the ink. That works for me. All right. Let's have Lincoln heal Irving. Let's have Marin heal Bianca. No, it's not Irving, it was Sophia that I healed with Lincoln, never mind. Uh, that's fine, though. Um, let's just shoot this guy with Garrick now. Uh, I'd go for the longbow, I guess, for somewhat accurate attacks. Garrick's not doing so well with those anymore. You can probably have Sarah handle this. Mm, no, that's too bad. Can Sarah handle this safely? Kinda, with Firewall, I guess. Alright. Cool. And Brooke gets kinda wrecked here. But again, her H her, H her damage is not being shown correctly. It shows the HP is going down from 55 to 5, which is 50 damage, but she does 30 damage twice, which is 60 damage, so... All right. That's just broken for some reason. Whenever you need me. In any case, we're gonna go for this. Um. I don't know why he took less damage than How can I twice, assist? but he's still alive. So we're gonna just kill him with Vesta. Effort. Duly rewarded. Okay, not too shabby. Her speed is crap, but it's something at least. And I think we can actually kill this guy, although the, uh, the battle forecast is lying to us, which is kind of concerning. All right. With every shot, progress. Okay. 
Caius is good. Let's move him up. Alright. We have an approaching person there. I... We have no enemies here that we need to kill, so that's fine. I think we just move up. For now. Um... Are you sure? What if we phased... Garrick over and had him shoot this guy? Well, it hits. No. Okay, then. We'll just Let's use going. our good friend Caius to do the job. I like the swirly blade animation there. Got a tier 2 token out of that. Quickly and quietly. Alright, so let's just move our everybody up I'd be honored. pretty much. This will be quick. And target that boss enemy. Well, we should probably take a look at them too, but first My turn. just move everyone up. Okay, so what do we have here? Empyrean. Uh you have Torrent plus one, minus five true speed. We have to just hit one of these blue squares, I suppose, to make this work. We have a Delian that drops something here. It's here one token specifically. Might be good to clear this guy out before we actually target this guy, since I don't actually know what's going to happen. So, I'm going to put Vesta in range. Although, this guy is... A, uh, a mage, so, well, an A Aegis, I guess. So Thunderstorm is a range attack. Hmm. No, oh, we'll just move people up into range anyway, just, just, just to bait them in. Our other units can kill eventually. And that is not a lot of damage, so that's all good. And the guy behind him is moving towards us, too, so... Let's just dispatch these guys. We'll start with putting Vesta in the right square. And attacking a bit. Truth pierces like a sword! Okay. We got 28 damage there. Take 5, and then another 14. I'll leave you at 9. That enables us to maybe get a cheap on, cheap shot in with Garrick. Yeah, he has a 100% chance to hit, so why not? It's rare that he has such good accuracy nowadays. Proudly meeting expectations. All right, you need dexterity, but you're doing pretty well. Now, you can have Brooke attack this guy a bit, maybe. You can try to go for a crit. We didn't get a crit, but that's okay. On the move. Let's uh Let's get going. Let's see what this does, I guess. Arrive. Oh, could I just done that the entire time? <laughs> okay. This would make for a fine tale. Well that's done. Uh-oh. Irving, what are you doing here? <sighs> Whatever that thing is, it's killing people on both sides of this fight. We came to stop it. Hmm. Well, then, at least for now, I can call you my ally. Sterling. Sterling? No. We don't have time. I trust you, but I made an oath. Let's just enjoy that we get to fight together, at least this once. Right, let's do this. Ah! Sounds painful. Impressive. You survived the blast. So bold. I wonder. Will all that strength carry you when you're alone? <laughs> Sterling. Little brother. Gods, you're bleeding. It's going to be all right. I need a cleric. Marin, Lincoln. Huh? What's happened? Oh, God, Sterling. Let's, let me see what I can do. You you did it. You stopped him. I tried, but I was far too late. Pace yourself. Save your strength, brother. Uh, that was kind of anticlimactic. I... They just ran into a thing and it 
solved everything, but Sterling's dying. I just, I'm proud of what you did, of who you're becoming. I know, I know. Marin, can we stem the bleeding? Lincoln, maybe if we try together. Hmm. Father and Varroa, go and see him. You must tell him everything. I will, I promise. Mm, you don't have to promise, I know you will. I've never seen wounds like this, this magic. The life seems to just be draining from him. Friends. Lincoln, you and Bianca, I better not be seeing you soon. Look after him. I can't fail. No, not no, now. no, no. There has to be someone who can help. Cleric, help, anyone. It's all right. Fear does not belong in your voice, brother. It's all right. I lived my life on the battlefields. This was the end I asked for. I only wish I... What? You only wish what? Sterling. Oh, no, no. Gods, no. Sterling. Stay with me. Irving, are you all right? Irving? It would have been nice to actually see Sterling, like, fight in that scene, but it looks like he just got killed in a swath of purple. I don't know. I'm liking the game so far. The story doesn't exactly appeal to me. I mean, some elements of it do. They're, they're interesting enough, but that was a little bit heavy-handed. I don't know. Anyway... Thank you for watching, and on next episode, we'll do chapter 12. Have a good one.